Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Elk Grove police are still searching for the person accused of stabbing a family member this morning. Police put up a perimeter around a home on Springhurst Drive, but later learned the suspect was not inside. The victim is expected to survive. Migos rapper Takeoff is dead at 28 after a shooting early Tuesday outside a bowling alley in Houston. Two others were hurt. No arrests have been made. Pfizer says its new vaccine against RSV is safe for pregnant women and effective in protecting their babies. The vaccine would be given in the second or third trimester and mothers would pass the antibodies to babies. RSV is mostly responsible for a recent spike in child hospitalizations. As the investigation into Saturday's deadly stampede gets underway in South Korea, the country's national police chief, prime minister and the mayor of Seoul are all apologizing, saying more could have been done to prevent the tragedy which killed more than 150 people. In a southern Ukrainian port city, Russia is reportedly relocating 70,000 people ahead of an expected Ukrainian offensive. Ukraine calls the evacuation forced displacement. Former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appears to hold a narrow lead in Israeli elections. The vote could return him to power thanks to a boost from an extreme right-wing ally known for inflammatory anti-Arab comments. Brazilian President Bolsonaro refused to concede this week's election to leftist Lula da Silva, but a spokesperson says he has approved the transition. Jamaican officials are banning music and TV broadcasts they believe glorify crime, violence, drug use, scamming, and weapons. The government says they want to cut back on material that can give the impression that criminality is accepted in Jamaica. Hyundai has issued a recall for the 2018 Santa Fe after several caught fire. The anti-lock brake system could malfunction and cause an electrical short, possibly leading to an engine fire while parked or driving. Owners are urged to park outside until it's fixed. The jackpot for Wednesday's Powerball drawing now at $1.2 billion. After nobody hit it big last night, it's the fourth largest jackpot in U.S. history. For the winner, the cash option is worth $596 million. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.